After a lot of complaints from homeowners, Dallas is now moving closer to a decision about where short-term rentals should be allowed. It appears that council members are leaning toward prohibiting them in neighborhoods and only allowing them in the same areas as hotels. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us now with where council members stand. Heather Dallas City Council members spent about four hours today discussing how they should handle short term rentals in the city with the biggest questions revolving around how the city would actually enforce the rules if there was a problem at one. Return our neighborhoods back to the homeowners and not to those that would make a profit at the expense of those of us that are paying our our homes. For years, Dallas homeowners have complained about short-term rentals that bring a revolving door of guests, noise, and trash. As an attorney, as a former public defender, as a judge, defending the rights. But one of the things we always have to remember, whenever personal rights conflict with the majority rights, we need to yield to the majority. Wednesday, several Dallas council members questioned the enforcement control if an ordinance were passed. I'm just really not certain that we are even close to having the ability to enforce anything that we do here. Dallas City staff admitted it would need more code enforcement workers. This is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week operation. So the seven code officers we're proposing clearly won't get us to what we need to be. City staff said the number of short-term rentals has been growing rapidly. In the last three years, we've gone from 73 registered to 1,200 registered. Staff admitted there could be more rentals than they are aware of, with one analyst estimating there are 5,000 operating in the city. There are a lot of people who are going around VRBO and Airbnb, and they're, they're promoting their own um, you know, sites. The proposed ordinance would require STRs to have a representative who can meet code enforcement at the property within a one hour notice. And we're expecting one hour person to go to a raging party with alcohol and whatever, and they somehow are going to stop all of this. Although our own code compliance people, when they go single element, we don't ask them to go in that. Councilman Adam Basaldua argued the city could fund more resources through the fee short term rentals would have to pay. Registration not only allows for us to have accountability, but it allows a built in fee. Basaldua also argued short term rentals that are registered and paying taxes now would legally need to be allowed to continue to operate even if the city ends up prohibiting STRs in neighborhoods. All of the 1,200 operators that we have currently in our muni rev systems will be grandfathered per um, uh, case law. Some council members told city staff that they believe that owner occupied short term rentals are not as problematic as those with uh, owners who are off site and they asked for the proposed ordinance to allow for owner occupied short term rentals. City staff said there's also a new problem cropping up of people renting out their swimming pools and that is also on their radar. A new proposal will be brought back June 15th.